Hello and welcome to a walkthrough of Manage Glitter's current feature set. Please note, Twitter recently requested that we remove a significant number of features, which include features such as in-app follow and unfollow functionality. So before signing up to the paid version of Manage Flitter, we recommend that you watch this video to ensure our system still offers features that you're interested in. I'll now give you a walkthrough of Manage Flitter's current feature set. When you log in, you're firstly taken to the Find Fake section, and this is available for both pro and business users. Here we have the following options on the left-hand side. The first is inactive, so what we see now is people you follow who have not posted in the last 30 days. And from here we can order those results. We've got a number of options. For example, we can order by influence. You can see the influence measurement on the right. Uh, and then you can also click through to the profile. And from here you can then review that profile. Next we have fake spam and under fake spam we have fake following. Here we see fake accounts whom you follow. After this we've got fake followers and these are fake accounts who are following you. Then we have muted users and these are Twitter accounts which you have muted. And lastly we have everyone you follow listed here. Next we have search and search is available for both pro and business users. There are three types of search. Uh, the first one is account search and account search allows you to search through over 140 million Twitter accounts by typing in a keyword. So for example, this is useful for finding accounts with similar interests. We do have a video tutorial for an in-depth walkthrough of this feature and you can find that on our YouTube channel. Next we have Tweet Search. Tweet Search allows you to find people who have tweeted a hashtag, uh, have included a targeted keyword or mentioned a specific Twitter account in their tweet. So you can enter a topic, drill down into location, and also choose how many results you'd like to appear. Here's an example of a search done earlier. So with all the searches, you'll have those results appear in the middle of the page. You can order them, and you can click through to that Twitter profile for review. We also do have a, an in-depth walkthrough of Tweet Search on our YouTube channel. Lastly, in the search section, we have Search Your Account. And this allows you to search within your account to review your followers and those you follow. Again, for an in-depth walkthrough of this feature, uh, we do have a tutorial on our YouTube channel. Next we have analytics and here we have account analytics which is both uh, available for pro and business. Account al analytics gives you a quick overview of your current account numbers. So you can see uh, or view a graph of changes to your followers, following, uh, tweets and influence over time. Next we have email reports and this is a business feature. It allows you to receive a daily or weekly email report summarizing the most important activity on your accounts. Uh, so for example, uh, you could receive alerts when a high value or a verified or verified Twitter accounts follow, um, follow you. Next we have engagement. Under engagement we have power post and here you can schedule tweets for when your followers are most likely to see them. Uh, it got it, So basically it lets you easily select optimal tweet times um, using this 
a visual, unique visual approach, and it's based on user Twitter engagement data. PowerPost is available for both pro and business, and you also do have access to reusable posts. So this is access to previous power posts for reuse uh, when appropriate or when required. In addition to scheduling tweets, you can also uh, schedule posts to other um, social media platforms such as Facebook and LinkedIn. Next under engagement, under power posts, we have Power Post Bulk Import. Uh, please note this is a, a business feature. So Power Post Bulk Import allows you to easily import uh, spreadsheets to schedule and manage a large number of tweets. We do have a video tutorial walkthrough on our YouTube channel for this. Next, we have RSS feeds, and this is available for both pro and business users. So if you have a blog um, and you wish to uh, post a link to your blog articles, you can enter your uh, website or RSS feed and the system will pull in those blog articles for you, which you can then queue or schedule. You can see here in the pending tab. Lastly, in the engagement section, we have at inbox, and this is a business feature. This allows you to manage your at replies. So at replies are compiled in one location, allowing you to maintain full control of all at replies. We do have a feature walkthrough of at inbox, um, which again can be found on our YouTube channel. And lastly, we do have uh, account export. So under dashboard and then down to export account, this is available for both pro and business. However, business does get two additional options for exporting information on your account. Other features uh, for business accounts is you get access, uh, well, you get access to permission management and you do have access to custom branding. So this concludes a walkthrough of Manage Flitter's current feature set. We hope the walkthrough has been helpful.